What's going on everyone? This is Inkcap24 and we're here with a Mailbag Monday question and this comes from our Discord from Bears Are Cool. He's been asking about the West Coast offense and how he can improve his single back doubles north and we're going to deliver a little mini scheme for him on this video. Now if this is the first time checking out our channel and you want to win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. So the first play of this mini scheme is going to be the halfback pitch. And this is really going to set the tone for your offense because it's a really nice run play that your defensive um, opponent has to really uh, key in on. Whether it's him manually going and running over to try to stop it, whether he's putting more people in the box, or he's trying to get the safeties to kind of help out in the run game, it's going to demand a little bit more attention. All we're going to do is take this B over, we're going to hike it before it gets to that receiver, and you can see that you're going to have a really nice pulling ability to get some really good yards and kind of set up your offense with this play. Now what we want to do is, I'll run this a couple times for you, but what we want to do is make sure that all of our plays come off of this motion so it really um, gets you the ability to have um, the opponent not know what you're doing each play. The second run play what you want to do is go to this halfback ace power. And what I like about this one has the pulling guard from the right. It gives you the ability to either keep it inside if they overcommit because they think it's going to be the toss. Or you can bounce it outside if they don't have that ability there. So same thing, you look at the offense, I mean the defense, you see that you got that ability that time to kind of bounce it outside, get a couple yards. You're really just looking to see what the defense gives you. Typically speaking, because they have to worry about this toss play, they're going to um, kind of overcommit to the outside and give you a little bit more room to the inside. See how we're so successful to the outside with this. When we come back with the ace power you'll see that we're going to have uh, a little bit more ability when they make adjustments, right? It's kind of a different thing in practice mode because I'm not, um, you know, playing as a user, but you'll see that you're going to have a lot of ability to kind of get up the field this time and just mix it in, right? So that's the first two. So let's go ahead and look at the pass plays, how we can use that same motion to really set up the pass game with this. So the first play I'm going to be looking at here is going to be the curl drag play, okay? And what I like about the curl drag play is that we've got this really nice hook route by the Y, and then we're gonna have this B that's gonna be a, a kind of a high-low read. We're going to block our running back, we're gonna put the A on a drag, then we're gonna put the X on a streak. You want this to be on the right hash mark if you're running the stock, because you want that B receiver to go to the wide side of the field. And what we're gonna do is once we move him over, it's gonna be kind of a high-low, and you're gonna see that the first option is gonna be this Y receiver. You're gonna hike it right there, and when the Y receiver stops, you're going to be able to throw it to him. It's a real nice quick hitter, okay? It's something that the user is got to have to be aware of or you're going to take it all day long. If they go and play that route, what you're going to see here is that you're going to have the ability to throw it to the B receiver. We're doing a flood concept to the wide side of the field with the B. Now, this is going to be something that you're going to be able to do with a lot of these plays because of the way that they're designed. You can kind of pick your, um, your route. See this B? This is going to be the play that you're going to want for a lot of yards, okay? It's going to take a little bit more time. If you look at some of these plays that I put in my audibles, wide receiver corner is going to have the same ability to do it, but you're going to use the X receiver and the Y receiver. So if you're going to do the same route combination where you're going to block your running back, put A on a drag, and then you're going to use the B as your streak route, right? You can put them on a fade or a streak, it doesn't matter. And what you're going to see here is once you do that, you're going to see that the Y is going to be your dump off route, but the X actually breaks a little bit quicker. So you're going to get that really quick option when it comes to that as well. So using either one of those routes to your benefits is going to help. The last thing I'd like to show you here, the same thing, is I'm going to go to cover three. If someone's running cover three on you, this play, um, the slot corner is going to be a little bit better because look at that Y route. It's actually a really, really quick hitting route that goes to the outside. So you're going to block your running back. And what I like to do on this play is put the B on the streak. And you got this X as a really nice route to where if people start uh, looking at you and say, you know what, he's going to have that short route, he's going to have the underneath route, I got to just jump the left side of the field, the X comes back to the right. So you go ahead, you hike this ball at the same spot, and you're going to see here against cover three hard flats, this Y does a really good job of getting underneath that coverage and really gives you some successful throws. So anytime they're playing hard flats, this is your quick beater, but it also gives you the opportunity again to beat anybody that's going to try to jump the, the left side of the field. So I'll show you that as an example what I'm talking about is that we're going to put the B on a streak. If they are in hard flats, and say the user right now is going to be, let's just say the A player, and he's going to try to jump um, the right side of the field, which is going to be the Y player here, 
we're going to be able to come back to the X. And this is something that you'd want to make sure that you, you know, incorporate just to make sure that you keep the user uh, honest. So you see the players go to the left, now you come back, now you're going to the right. And it's just one of those plays, again, that you're keeping your all the eyes going left and then it comes back right. The last play we're going to look at is the play action play. And that's going to be this rollout. Now, this rollout play is really nice. But what I would suggest is you put this X player on a smart route. That's going to lower his route a little bit, so it's going to give you the nice ability to go over the top. And what I would do is I would put the A on a streak, and then what I would do with this wide receiver is put him on a hitch. And then we're going to take this B, and we're going to motion him left and put him on a drag to go back to the right side. And what that's going to do is going to create a high-low, but it also gives you the ability to throw it to this Y route. If everybody overcommits to the right side, you're going to have that like, dump-off pass to really be able to uh, make them have to stay at home. So again, here, what we're gonna do is just gonna move this guy over. And now it's gonna look like they're gonna do the halfback ace. And then you're gonna get this guy outside. You got the B first, but the X is the route that you're looking for. It's gonna be one of those routes that it's gonna be very hard for a defender to play the left side of the field when you're running all over them and be able to commit back to this. So again, all I'm gonna do on this play here is I'm going to smart route my X. I'm gonna put the Y on a hitch. A on a streak, B on a drag, motion this guy over so we keep everything the same. And then we're going to hike the ball, carry out our fake, see that we've got this ability to wait for this X receiver, throw it to him. And you're gonna have a really nice successful play that you're gonna be able to use as a mini scheme, keeping all the same motion the same, being able to really get them to, um, you know, not key on what you're doing. And the hesitation that they have to do for the pass plays is going to open up your run plays. And then the overcommitment of the run plays are going to open up your pass plays. Just something that we wanted to bring to our Discord member, Beers Are Cool. Um, something that uh, is a benefit to being a Playbook uh, GG subscriber. What we do is we open up our Discord for the ability for people to ask questions to um, not only on our game plans, but other game plans as well. We're trying to be as helpful as we can as possible. So when you get a, uh, a uh, subscription, with us at the www.playbook.gg we give you the ability to jump in our discord be part of our chat we got about a thousand members in there that um, are really helpful helping each other out as well have the opportunity to talk to the pros um, directly as well as myself and Zan to get all the information that you need to help get your mad game at the best level possible now if you like this video Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.